Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new Gentech PC product showcase. Today's video is going to be a full length featured review of the brand new MSI GT80S Titan. This particular model is going to be the 29th anniversary limited edition release from MSI. It is a full size, full on desktop replacement laptop. So if you're somebody who's looking for a laptop with the ultimate gaming performance on the go, or somebody who would prefer a laptop form factor at home for a powerful desktop, this laptop could be very interesting to you. And of course, we'll get to all of the features and performance later on in the review. So to get things started, we'll go ahead and start with the unboxing. As you can see, we already pulled out a regular standard backpack that comes ready to use with this laptop. So you already have a way to transport this with the double boxing technique where the outside box keeps everything protected and low profile during shipping. And then we have the actual GT80 box on the inside. Now, as we get into the interior box, we gotta go ahead and cut some of the seals open. You can see it's a pretty large box. This is a 18.4 inch laptop. So it's a little bit larger than even your 17 inch gaming laptop models. So our first item on top here is gonna be a mouse pad. And then over on the left hand compartment, this is gonna be a box that contains our DC power inverter and the adapter cable for your region's power supply. Now this is a fairly hefty power adapter because we are powering two high-end video cards plus a very high-end CPU. So this is gonna be specially tailored for this particular laptop. Here is an up-close look at the power specifications on that adapter. And now next up in the center of the box is gonna be the laptop itself. It's cushioned on all sides by these very thick foam inserts. So therefore it won't get smashed or beaten up when it's shipping to you. And then you've got coverings on top of the laptop to prevent it from getting scratched as well. So at first glance, it might be a little bit hard to tell just how beastly this laptop is, but it's an 18.4 inch gaming machine. So it's even larger than the 17 inch counterparts that you usually see. We also have a few more things in the box. There's a little extra here. We have a keychain that comes with this laptop. Then you've got a palm rest. Here we have our standard bag of drivers, discs, and warranty information. And this little box here is actually quite exclusive. These are some extra keycaps that replace the keycaps for the WSAD keys on the keyboard, as well as an MSI key that you can place anywhere you would like. Usually that would go on the Windows key. These are replaceable because of the fact that the keyboard is a full on mechanical keyboard, just like you would use for a gaming desktop. And that's pretty much everything you'll find in the box. So let's go ahead and move on to the next segment of our review. Let's hit the scales. So our laptop's gonna come in at 11.2 pounds by itself. And the power adapter comes in at three pounds and two ounces. So almost 15 pounds of carry weight in total. Now let's go ahead and plug in the laptop and get it powered on for the first time. As you can see, we do get an oversized cleaning cloth between the screen and the keyboard. That helps keep it from getting scratched during shipping. We'll hold on to that to keep everything clean after you started owning it. We're powering it on and you can see that we get the bright red backlighting through the keys. And we're going into our BIOS first to look around and show you some of the BIOS options. Now here in the BIOS, there's nothing particularly special. We have our standard basic advanced boot type options. It does give you some of our system information. You can see that we have four sticks of RAM currently installed at eight gigabytes each. So that's 32 gigabytes of system RAM. You can see the CPU speed at 2.9 gigahertz all the current options that we have configured by default. Some of the more important default configurations is the fact that we have two SSDs in RAID 0 and one mechanical hard drive as a standalone device. We have our virtualization, the VTD that we can disable or turn on here. We'd recommend leaving that on. You can set your BIOS password for extra security. 
you can change the legacy support for legacy or EFI booting. So most of these are always standard. There's nothing particular that you'd have to come into the BIOS to configure unless you're setting up something unique. So now speaking of the RAID 0 array on the SSDs, let's see what that equates to in a real life boot speed. This is a cold boot going into the operating system. And we're at about 15 to 16 seconds on that. And now with our system powered up, let's go ahead and take a closer look at all of our features and connectivity. Let's start off by taking a closer look at the keyboard on this laptop. It is a SteelSeries branded keyboard just like all the other MSI gaming laptops. However, it is not a low profile chiclet style type. This is a full size, full throw desktop keyboard using Cherry MX Brown mechanical switches. So this keyboard will give you the full typing experience of buying an expensive mechanical keyboard for your desktop built right into your laptop. This will surely be a really popular thing for keyboard enthusiasts out there because it will allow you to type faster and give a longer life to your keyboard. Now we'll move over to the top right hand side. We have a few buttons here. This is where we're gonna find our fan override, our power button and our media mode button. And just below that we have a two in one digital touchpad. So this acts as your standard laptop touchpad for moving around the mouse cursor in your left and right clicks. However, if you activate the second mode, it acts as your number pad that goes to the right hand side of the keyboard. It's a great way to conserve some space and allow fitting in that full size mechanical keyboard, which is the most important part. However, you won't be able to touch type quite as easily on that number pad as you would having a standard one built in. Now that we've got the keyboard covered, which is a very awesome feature of this laptop, let's go ahead and move around to the perimeter and start looking at our connectivity options. On the right side, we're gonna start off with two USB 3 ports. And then we got one of the large air intakes for cooling the system. As we move around to the rear side of the laptop, we've got the MSI gaming logo and the brushed aluminum lid. Just a close up of the texturing of that brushed aluminum. Now for the connectivity in the center area, we have a few different important connections here. We have our mini display port output, and then we have the USB 3.1 type C, which is a Thunderbolt port. Then we have our HDMI output, our DC power inputs, and the RJ45 for the local network connectivity. Of course, those are in the middle of our two large exhaust vents for cooling the system. It's important to note that the display on the laptop is a 1080p display. However, these video outputs are capable of outputting 4K resolution if you have a higher resolution monitor. Now moving over to the last side, we're on the left side of the laptop. We have our optical drive at the top with a dedicated eject button. Just below that, we have our other air intake followed by our Kenningston lock port. Then we have a gold-plated 3.5 millimeter audio connection. This belongs to the ESS Sabre Hi-Fi audio DAC. So this is a audio file grade audio output for your high impedance headphones. The SD card reader, three USB 3.0 ports. Then we have an optical SPDIF output and our two standard 3.5 millimeter audio connections for a microphone and headphone. So we have a great deal of connectivity, which would really help with that desktop replacement type environment as far as audio and video. Then we've got the full desktop keyboard, and that's an exclusive to the MSI GT80 Titan. So this is a really nice package that brings a lot of new features to the table. So earlier in the review, we covered the weight of the unit, and usually we do the measurements as well. So we're going to show you just how big the GT80 is. We have a quarter on there for scale, and you can see according to the measuring tape just how thick the unit is. It is a wedge type shape, so the rear of the unit is much thicker than the front. Now moving into the device manager, we can see some of the system hardware. We have two NVIDIA GTX 980 mobile video cards 
each of those with eight gigabytes of GDDR5 memory. Killer for both our wired and wireless networking and the Intel Core i7-6920HQ for a CPU. For those interested in the monitor information, here is the hardware ID on that panel. Now moving into some of the video card properties, we have the SLI configuration. You can have that enabled or disabled. We have the physics support. And we are currently running that refresh rate at 60 hertz. The monitor does have a native resolution of 1920 by 1080p. It is a non-glossy matte type display with very good view angles. Now moving into our benchmark section, the very first thing we have is our crystal disk mark score for the SSD array. Our next benchmark is going to be recording our sound levels. So I've got our microphone sound reader out by the exhaust, and this is the system currently at an idle state. And now we've started up one of our performance benchmarks. We have the system under load. So you can view the differences between the idle and load states. And of course, the best way to compare this information is to watch some of our other reviews with the same testing, and you can compare each laptop against each other. Also, while we're doing the sound reading test here, it's a good opportunity to look at the screen as we go from the forward side to the back side of the laptop and get a glance at the viewing angles. Okay, we've just started and finished the first of our performance benchmarks for gaming. We have Fire Strike coming in at 15,797 as our score. You can see that both of the NVIDIA GTX 980 mobile video cards showed up as part of our test set. And then down below we have the CPU-Z and GPU-Z information for both the CPU and GPU. Over to the left side of the screen, this is where we have our temperature results for the benchmark. Our CPU managed to get to about 85 degrees Celsius max. While the video cards, we have one at 74 degrees max and the other at 84. So it looks like one might have been getting a little bit cooler or had a little bit more load on it. And both of those results are good for both the CPU and the GPU. Now the 3D Mark 11 score came in at performance of 18,117. So as you can see, both the 3D Mark 11 and the Fire Strike scores came in very high. This next segment is just a quick test of the speaker system and its volumes. And now it's time for us to move into the final segment of our review, which is the minor disassembly of the unit. There are a few screws to remove around the perimeter of the bottom panel, and one of them is covered by a warranty sticker. So a warning to everybody, if you did modify your system while it's still under warranty, you would void that warranty. 
So that's a good time to mention that the Gentech PC Store does offer a full customized ordering process, so you can actually choose any upgrades you would like during the checkout process, have those professionally installed and still covered under warranty. So that's a good option if you do choose to change anything from the stock configuration. So to start off, we're just taking out the two screws that lead to the keyboard, and that lets us take off the top panel on the upper side of the laptop. So you slide it over and it unlocks it, and then once you take it off, you see that you have access to your two and a half inch mechanical mass storage drive. You can also get a glance at some of the speakers that were behind the speaker grills. We have two of our system RAM slots, our optical drive on the left hand side, and then hidden in the center here underneath the tape that's taping it down. This is where you'll find the two SSDs that you're running as your primary boot drive in the RAID 0 array. If there were any upgrades to be done to the GT80 Titan, this would be one of them that you might look into. They are 128 gigabytes each, so you get 256 gigabytes of total space, but SSDs do come in much larger size now, so you could upgrade those to a higher capacity. Now we're moving back over to the bottom side of the laptop. We've removed the rest of the screws necessary to get the bottom plate off. And you can see this reveals the other two system RAM slots and of course all the cooling solution. We can spot the bottom subwoofer speaker, our internal battery, and all of the cooling pipes responsible for cooling the GPUs and the CPU. Also, if your model has the Sabre Hi-Fi audio DAC, that's placed right in the center. In truth, the GT80, unlike most other laptops where everything's on the bottom panel, most of the user upgradable parts were on the top side of the laptop. So unless you were upgrading the system RAM down here on the bottom side, there's not too much to come upgrade over here. Now for the sake of the video only, we're gonna go ahead and take it apart a little bit further and remove the cooling solution to show you the GPUs and CPU underneath. The GT80 Titan is coming loaded with the GTX 980 mobile video cards, so pretty much the highest spec you can currently get, but the laptop does give you the standard MXM slot so that you can come back and upgrade those video cards later on if there ever is a higher model video card available for that same slot. Of course, being that this is a SLI system and it runs two video cards in tandem, chances are you'd be upgrading both of those video cards at the same time. Now to remove the video cards from the motherboard, it's two screws that hold it in place and then you can gently slide it right out of the slot. Again, these are the GTX 980 mobile video cards with the eight gigabytes of GDDR5 video RAM on board. And so everybody, that's going to wrap up our full length featured video review of the MSI GT80 Titan. We hope that you enjoyed our video and you found it educational and entertaining and of course, hopefully answered many of the questions you might have had about the GT80. However, if you'd still like to learn more about this product, then go to our website, gentechpc.com, and there we have the product specifications page, as well as the current pricing and availability. If you have any other questions that we can't answer for you through the video, then feel free to ask in the comments down below or contact us by phone or email for one-on-one -on -one support. We just want to remind you once again, this was Gentech PC, and we'll see you next time. We'll see you next time.